Biteslide is a poster maker that teachers can sign up for. Um, you sign up for an account and just click on register and then you can register as a teacher. After you register as a teacher you will get a class code and then your students when they register they'll put in that class code and they'll pick a username and password. So as the teacher you create a project. You can only create one project but then your kids can add as many um, slide books as they would like into that project. So I created this project just called 2013-2014 and then I made a sample slide book to go in that project and when you have your kids um, make their slide books it's probably a good idea to have them put their name on them. So here's a sample slide book I made. You can add pictures, you can add clip art, you can add words, um, just whatever you would like to add onto the poster. Then if your kids want to embed it into, if they have a, a blog or a web page, they can embed it, but they don't have to. It will, you will see all the projects that they have made on your account. So when your students log in, they will see their dashboard and they can see the project that you have already made and then they can add their slide book to it. So to add a slide book, they just go to add slide book and they will title it. This is where you might want to put, have them put their name. So if John is doing this one, he could do that and then he'll choose the project. And like I said, you can only create one project um, and you have 30 students which can create slide books on that project. And you click create. Then you're going to choose the style that you want for their slide book. Um, if they choose none, they can just make it their own, um, which is what I'm going to do right now. Then they get a black, um, a whiteboard and a blank whiteboard and here's where they can add text and they just type like they would normally would. They can choose the style, they can choose the color of their text, they can choose the background color that they would like. They can um, add extras. When you click on extras, if you click on um, each of those icons, it gives them all kinds of backgrounds to choose from and borders and then little clip art things that they can add to, they call them stickers, that they can add to their poster. They just click on the one that they want and then they just drag it over into their slide book. They can also search for images in Google that they can also add to their poster. They can add multiple slides if they click on add another slide. It just adds another slide and they can create a second slide to uh, their collection. Then when they're finished they can click download. And then they can choose a location so if they're logged into their U drive they can um, save it to their U drive. If you would like them to collaborate on one of these um, bite slides, they can add students from their class to work on it with them. So if you click on editors, um, they can add the username of somebody in their class and it will add them as an editor and they can both work on the project together. So those are the basics of bite slide. Hope you can use that in your classroom with your students.